is here to talk to you today about the full snow moon in Leo, which we have coming up on February 16th tomorrow. And Leo is about courage, strength, leadership, passion, and most importantly, love. With a strong focus on the heart and heart energy. This is a time to intentionally focus on living in a permanent and loving state of being and broadcasting that energy out to the world rather than focusing on all of the separation, the division, the polarity that we are seeing all around us. The astrology of this moment is going to lend us a little bit of a hand with this by encouraging us to move into our very powerful heart centers. The North Node also, as we've said before, has moved into Venus, which is also the planet of love. It's going to be critically important as we move through these challenging times and these upcoming events to move out of our heads and into our hearts to map out our highest future timeline and our best future path. We impact our future timeline based upon where our consciousness is focused. This is not woo woo or anything. This is quantum physics. Thoughts are things and they do possess the energy to alter the future. So where you focus is really important. I always say that quantum physics is where they hide the scientific proof of spirituality and of everything about our world. If you find yourself getting triggered and angry and arguing a lot on social media, which we're seeing so much of, or posting negative or one-sided content, we advise you to focus intentionally on self-healing. We all have trauma and parts of us that need to be healed, every single one of us. That is the nature of the human experience here on the earth plane at earth school. It's not easy. So when we are triggered, this is revealing parts of ourselves that need to be healed. That's what it's telling you when you're getting triggered by somebody else. When we heal ourselves, we heal the world. And many people are so focused on the drama of the external because they're really avoiding looking at themselves um, to doing the necessary healing work that if we all did that, we would be out of this mess right away. This is a time when we're going to need to come together in unity to get through this. So that self-healing is really important. And just being kind and loving each other is going to be necessary. The Venus-Mars conjunction will last until April. And this could bring some unexpected and fast-moving new romance if you're in the market for that. We can also expect to continue shifting into our natural soul group, our finding our tribe. So many of our clients are talking about that, that everything has shifted for them with new people, new groups. That's happening to everybody. Events will continue to be fast moving. Uh, we have the evolutionary photonic light is just pouring onto the planet right now. And we actually emit photons from our heart as well. We are energetic beings. So this means that all of those ascension symptoms that we've talked about so often are going to be in full swing right now. For us, it's the ear ringing that's been almost constant and um, lots of headaches. So obviously, as we always say, if there's anything wrong, get to a doctor. But these photonic light energies are causing some of these symptoms and they will peak in March. So hang in there. Our little systems are experiencing a lot right now energetically. 
Our spirit guides have said that the March full moon will be very, very important. So we will keep an eye on that and on their messages to our psychic medium as we move into that March time frame and that full moon, which feels very, very pivotal. Full moons generally are emotional and feelings come to a crescendo at this time. We always talk about that. Full moons also tend to shine light on truths or secrets or difficult information that needs to be exposed. We will continue to feel very, very strongly the power of the people coming together with so much of this Aquarian energy going on right now. The Pluto return represents a spiritual rebirth for the United States. And this energy will continue for the next two years. There's a lot that's going to happen here in the next two years. So we should expect, expect to see a lot of changes and the rebirth of many systems um, in this country, particularly in the United States, we're going to have a lot of change. Once again, your dreams, we keep talking about, they may be very powerful, very dramatic, very vivid at this time. We are experiencing this ourselves. We are hearing a lot about it from our clients. Um, your dreams are often your subconscious mind communicating with you. They are often metaphorical. Um, so we really truly recommend writing things down, keeping a journal. I put them in my phone notes sometimes, but try to, when you first wake up and you remember it, write it down and try to decipher the meaning of your dreams. So in honor of St. Valentine and Valentine's Day that has just passed, and because the full moon in Leo is all about love, and that heart, we would like to do today a short meditation, and this was recommended by our guides, to help you focus on all of this powerful moon energy and focus it towards your heart chakra and to assist you in letting go of and releasing all of those past relationships or past traumas that did not serve you and that really need to be released in order for you to move forward with a healthy heart chakra. You have seven main chakras or energy centers in your body. They are not physical objects. A doctor cannot locate them. They are really spinning vortexes of energy. They have a consciousness within each of them and it is very helpful to focus on them and heal them from time to time. And they are essentially located up and down your spine from your tailbone up to your crown. There are seven main ones, although you have hundreds of them throughout your body. And your very important heart chakra is located where your heart is. And that is the center of your compassion, your gratitude, your kindness, your joy, your forgiveness and love. So when your heart chakra is aligned and balanced, love and compassion flow freely, both giving it out and getting it back to yourself. Your loving vibes are practically contagious when you have a very open heart. The heart is sometimes referred to as the little brain although our spirit guides actually say that it is a completely different animal. Uh, that's how powerful it is. They don't even really compare the mind and the heart. The magnetic fields produced by your heart extend out for several miles, and they are 5,000 times greater than the magnetic fields produced by your brain. You all know the pain that you experience in your heart, literally, when you lose a loved one or you suffer a broken heart, someone breaks your heart. Um, the heart chakra is associated with 
the colors green and pink. So to help you remember this, we always recommend people think of a pink rose with a green stem and leaves, and that is the color of your heart chakra. You can use a rose quartz crystal to help heal and open your heart chakra, which is a candle holder that I'm going to use today um, in a meditation that I'm gonna do with you. And also you can use lavender and rose essential oils. We like to run those through a diffuser to help your heart chakra to get unblocked. Your heart chakra gets blocked by loss, by rejection, by abandonment, by abuse, by betrayal, and by ignored grief. It can be healed with meditation, with touch, especially hugging, with emotional freedom technique, which is tapping, um, and most importantly, with your focus and your intention on your heart and to help your heart. This is a heart chakra bowl, which em emits the sound frequency of your heart chakra to help in its healing. So now we will be doing an opening the heart chakra guided meditation. And you want to maybe take a moment to get yourself to a quiet and comfortable place where you can meditate undisturbed for just a few minutes. Get into a comfortable position with your spine straight and settle into the support underneath you. Close your eyes and relax. Start slow, deliberate breathing with full, satisfying breaths. Breathe in, moving the breath up your spine to the top of your head, and then out and back down, pushing your breath down to Mother Earth. Slow, steady, full, yet comfortable breathing sends a signal to your body that you are safe. And as you relax, you begin to move your mind into a relaxed brainwave state. Continue this deep breathing as you listen to the soothing sounds of the heart chakra singing bowl. Breathe in and up, pushing the breath out your crown and out and down, pushing your breath to Mother Earth, fully grounding yourself and your energetic column of light. Now in the center of your heart space, visualize a pink rose with a beautiful, vibrant green stem. Move your hand to your chest now as your attention always goes to the place of touch. Focus your attention on this flower and see it in your mind's eye as it grows and opens up into a full, beautiful rose. Feel the energy of your heart chakra expanding out beyond your body with each in and out breath. Set the intention with each breath to send love and healing out to our beautiful planet and to all of humanity. When we heal and put our own pieces back together, we are then able to feel and understand what we are to each other and how we are all interconnected. You may now remove your hand from your heart center. Now visualize yourself taking the flower and holding it in both hands. Watch it continue to grow and expand as you smell its beautiful fragrance. 
As this continues, you note that some leaves have curled a bit and turned dry or brown. And you notice as these dry leaves fall easily and naturally off the beautiful flower and blow away in the breeze. As this happens, you feel yourself relax and feel much lighter and less burdened. You feel ease and lightness in your body and you notice all the tension and heaviness leave with the swirling, swaying leaves as they gently and easily fall off the glorious flower and naturally float away until they are out of your field of vision, gone forever. You notice that the flower now looks even more shiny and vibrant as you release and feel forgiveness toward all people in your life who may have hurt you or disappointed you in the past but who you are free to let go of at this point in your journey. Finally, release any disappointment or judgment that you have for yourself and feel lightness and renewed energy as you take an in-breath of cleansing and revitalizing air. Push your out breath with satisfying effort as you release any other emotions, feelings, or people from the past that no longer serve you. Notice an exhilarating new energy moving into you with each in breath. see yourself standing in front of you as a young child with a full and open heart without any of the energetic shields or blockages that grew over the years from different emotional pains that occurred. Look into the eyes of your inner child. See them smile with such childlike innocence and tell them that you are able to see from their perspective once again. Now that you have released the pain and the trauma that occurred throughout your life, take the hand of your inner child as you smile at each other. Feel great love and joy in your heart as you focus on all the good and beautiful and loving things in the world. With each exhale, focus on your heart and intentionally send its love out into the world. Continue to shine your light and send your love out as we listen to the soothing sound frequencies of the heart chakra sound bowl. If we all took a few minutes to listen to this meditation and do this exercise every day, we could bring so much loving energy and change to this beautiful planet of ours. Tell yourself that you intend to live from an energy of love and say the following to yourself. I am loved by many. Love fills my heart on a daily basis. I give and receive love continuously. Namaste. The soul light within me honors always the soul light within you. Go forth and live from an 
energy of love. Finally, get ready for the new moon on March 2nd to manifest bringing in new beginnings, new starts, new friendships, new love, and a brand new you. We will lead you there in our next video. If you are still here, thank you so much for your love and support. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever we put out our next video. And we are ever so grateful to you who share our content on your pages and with people you feel would be interested in this video. Most importantly, save it so that you can return to it and send love out from your heart chakra whenever you can in order to help heal this beautiful planet and all of humanity. Thank you and happy full moon in Leo from Psychic Treasures Unlimited.